what is an ionic bond. And an ionic bond is the attraction between oppositely charged ions, so cations are positive and anions are negative, in large numbers to form a solid called an ionic solid. And uh, sodium chloride is an ionic solid, and we're imagining in this reaction that we're going from two moles of sodium solid plus one mole of chlorine gas to make two moles of sodium chloride solid. And if we look at this from an electron configuration standpoint, we can look at the sodium as Na. Uh, oh. Na with a dot because so sodium has one valence electron and in fact we have two of them that's what the two means and then we have chlorine here which is this actually has a covalent bond in it and what we can imagine for now though we have a lot more to say is that Cl2 each of the chlorine atoms has seven valence electrons, and we can think of uh, each of these. So here's seven, not including this one right there, and then that one plus the other six is the seven for this chlorine. That's a total of 14 valence electrons, so all of our valence electrons are still here. And what we're going to do in this process is we're going to sort of break this bond and end up with two separate Cl atoms, like so. So all of our electrons are still accounted for. And then uh, since what we're calling uh, this process, so ionic bonds, uh, in order to form them, we first have to take the extra valence electron that's here and give it to something that needs a valence electron. So in our process here, uh, which is an imaginary process, but this is why this reaction occurs. So we can take this electron and uh, add it to this chlorine, and we can take this electron and add it to the other chlorine. And then when we get to the other side, what we're going to have is we're gonna have Na, which has zero valence electrons in n equals three comma yet it has eight valence electrons in n equals two and again sometimes people just leave it like na sometimes they put the eight electrons um, either way is fine with me as long as you put the plus and uh, the plus, this time we'll put it outside of the um, brackets, but it could go inside as well. Anyway, we're gonna have two of those and we're gonna have, oops, I put it inside there. And two of these chloride ions, which now have eight electrons like so, and then what happens is that these are attracted to each other, and this attraction between oppositely charged ions is what's called an ionic bond. So the attraction, that's what it says right here, the attraction is the ionic bond. And I said that as if it was in caps, And what we see from this process is that we have sodium with an extra valence electron transferring it to chlorine, which is mi missing one, to get its octet. Then we have two ions, each of them, or four ions, but two types of ions that have octets, and then it forms a bond, an ionic bond. And what I'd like you to do is, I'd like you to do this process. You can see there's four of them and so, but basically it's the same idea. Please complete that for your notes and I'll be looking for it.